hello my friends welcome to my channel or welcome back i am monica hill and on mondays i talk about books and business on tuesdays my do-it-yourself projects on wednesdays my dream and my desire to grow my hair all the way to waist length yes on thursdays music and poetry on fridays fun fitness challenges, and on Saturday, fuel our spiritual food. How are you all doing today? I am so excited. I was so excited last evening, and I tried to create a video and post it for today, but God said not yet. It wasn't time. I was anxious, but it just wasn't time. I wanted to tell you something that I'm so happy about. And by the way, I didn't drink seven bottles of water yesterday as my goal, but I did drink the first three before I left home. And I don't know if you can tell the difference in my skin, but I can. And I drank one this morning already. And according to my personal trainer that I hired sometime last year when I was starting my weightlifting training, she said I needed a hundred ounces of water a day so today i have had one bottle and i i need to drink five more so i have five of these left to go for today but i do see the difference in my skin i don't have any makeup on or anything like that i did put a little honey on my face today i haven't done it in a long time but i just I'm, i want to tell you i was so excited yesterday about a book that I've been wanting and I didn't plan to buy it. This is the book that I purchased yesterday. My sister, I call her my sister because we have so much in common and I just I just know one day our paths will cross. But I had to go somewhere and I was going to be sitting for a long time. So I decided, let me go get a book. And in my previous video, I wanted to trade her one of my, you know, one of my books for her book. And that didn't work out that way. So I was able to buy her book. And guess what? I was so excited because in her book, this is a signed first edition. I have her, I have her autograph. I was so excited because that was something I didn't expect. Isn't it good? Isn't God good? when you don't expect things and he surprises you. So every day God has blessings for us. And then when I open, you know, I'm trying to go vegan. And right now I shared the other day that I am fasting for and praying for a purpose, which you really are not supposed to reveal when you're fasting. You're supposed to do it in secret. But I wanted to share that with you, that that is how this is blessing my life. I'm, I'm doing it for someone else. But God is using it to give me a brand new start. And so when I finished the first chapter, uh oh, I dropped it. I found something inside the book on the page, I say between 122 and 123, that said vegan skirt steak. Yes. And so that first recipe in the book, I, no, that's not the first one. That was on a page with a recipe, but I did find a recipe also yesterday for a vegan tuna salad, which I'm going to try today. But I don't want to make this video too long because this is a live and it will cut off on me. And so, but I found something, and it was something with the barcode. I don't know if it's something that she put in the book or just something that, that was in the book, but there will be a delightful surprise if it's something that she put in the book and maybe I'm a, I'm a winner of something. Nevertheless, I'm not doing a book review. I didn't get to read the whole book yesterday as I had planned, but I did read the introduction and the very first chapter. And I have another thing in common with Tabitha Brown. She talked about dreams. I'm not going to give it up. I want you to, if it's your desire to read the book, if not, it's a good read, so you should get it. But she talked about dreams, not in the way I'm about to talk about them, but I have that in common with her. Maybe not the visions, but the dreams sometimes. And so I was even more excited. And as I began to read the second chapter today, 
my eyes, actually yesterday, my eyes were failing me. And that is another thing. When I began to read the second chapter today, she mentioned something about us praying for God to fix things when we're actually working against what we're wanting God to fix. So that brings me to my eyesight. I do not want to wear glasses, <laughs> but I do have some readers. And it seems like I've been wearing them so much that when I take them off, as a matter of fact, I went to get an eye exam and I had some prescription glasses prescribed to me. And when I took those glasses off, I could not hardly see. So I said, I oh, know I can't wear these because I don't want to be so dependent. And I just believe that listening to Dr. Sabi and, and just believing that God has created everything we need in nature, I just believe that if I eat differently, if I do some things differently, that God will restore my eyesight. So with that said, I want to send you a spiritual message, even though this is a books and business video, that we do not see things clearly. We see, uh, the Bible says we see through a glass, uh, you know, uh, darkened glass, something to that effect, not quoting word for word. So we need to be uh, clear on the things that God has for us. And I was so happy to have made a new friend yesterday. I met, met a friend from Nepal. So I have a new dream. Speaking of dreams, I have a new dream. I have fr beautiful friends from Cuba. And I have a new friend for from Nepal, I want to say hi to my new friend. Hello, new friend. I want to encourage you. I want to thank God for your new life. Even though you are you are uh, Hindi, I'm I, I'm trying to familiarize myself with the Hindi religion and with the things from of Nepal. But my new dream is to have friends from every country in this world but not just any friends, God sent friends. That is my new dream today. God gave me that dream to have a friend in every city, a state in this country, the United States of America. That is a new dream that God put in my heart that next year, that once a month, that I would have encounters, beautiful social encounters with um, at least one friend from a different ethnic culture so that I can learn about new culture. So I believe that God is just opening up new horizons for my life. And I'm so thankful. I believe my husband has friends all over the United States because he travels, but they're, I don't know them. But God is blessing me with new friends and I thank him. But to my new friend from Nepal, I want to say dream. I, I want to, I'm happy for you to be in a land of opportunity. And I want to tell you to dream whatever it is that you, your heart's desire is, that it is not impossible. And to dream whatever it is that you want to do, whatever God has given you, whatever gifts and talents that God has given you, dream and uh, it is possible. Your dreams are possible. So I'm so happy for you. And so my prayer, is for God to help me to see clearly um, the people, the people in my life, to see who they are clearly, and for you all to see me clearly, if that is God's will. So thank you. That is the, the message, my message for today. I'm so excited about my new book. I didn't, I plan to buy it or have it gifted to me for Christmas or trade and get her, get it, but I didn't plan yesterday to buy it until God put it in my heart and gave me a reason to actually sit down and try to read it, the whole book in a day. So I just want to thank you, God, thank you for my new book, and um, I'm so excited about today, and I hope that you are excited. There are some things that I have to do today, and I'm just excited to be able to do them. Every day is not the same. But I want to thank him for my joy today. I hope that you have joy today and try to eat healthy and try to drink healthy. Now, I did drink some ginger ale last night, so that may have affected because it probably has too much sugar in it. And I really don't drink a lot of pop. But lately, I have, you know, in the last maybe three months, I have wanted to ginger ale was brought into the house. And I like ginger ale from time to time. 
but I've been drinking it too much, so I don't need to drink that, but I did drink